Welcome back. You're still with us on Editor's Roundtable. Now, generally we talk about the week gone by, but in the year that has gone by so far, auto stocks have been the biggest gainers. In fact, if you look at Tata Motors, it's the biggest nifty gainer this year, up about almost 50%. Bajaj Auto, which was a laggard for so many years, is now up 30% this year, while Maruti is up 15%. Now, in the week gone by, specifically, the commentary from auto companies has been very positive, both for the domestic as well as for the global market. Now, if you just look at a couple of them, Ashok Leyland had a, an investor meet where they said that they are confident of the CV upcycle continuing at least for the next one year. They expect medium and heavy commercial vehicles to grow 10% and Ashok Leyland will outperform that. Seat says that their market share in the passenger vehicle space, which is currently 15%, expected to grow to 18-20% to within the next three years itself. And Maruti saw very strong bookings for their latest uh, Jimny. Uh, and they've received about 31,000 bookings and they're getting 150 bookings per day. So that just speaks about the demand trends there. Now, on the export market as well, auto companies are very bullish. Seat says that they're targeting 25% revenues from exports compared to 18% earlier. Ashok Leyland said exports will double over the next two to three years. And m and just launched their XUV 700 in Australia. But if you're looking to get the car, you'll have to wait a long time because of the uh, painful waiting period, right? But